Mmm, the Cornish pasty, a delicious English invention, like fish and chips, fingers and mash, and... Let me show you how to make these. Let's begin our pasty dough. In a large mixing bowl, add four cups of all-purpose flour, followed by two teaspoons of salt, then add about half a stick or four tablespoons of unsalted butter, cold, and half a cup of lard. Oh, CRJ, Dr. Oz says lard is unhealthy for you. Oh, really? Which Dr. Oz? This Dr. Oz? Who is being investigated by the U.S. Senate for pushing false health claims? Or is it this Dr. Oz, whose toxin cleanse diet was debunked in a CBC news piece? Anyway, once you're done learning how unregulated nutritional science is, incorporate our fat into our dry ingredients. Just kind of pinch it into the dough. The lard's going to be easy, but the butter is going to take a bit of time. And once the mixture is nice and crumbly like this, add one cup of water. Mix it until it comes together. You might have to add a teeny bit more water, that's okay. Okay, when it mostly comes together, start working it around with your hands. Okay, when you kind of got into like a loose bowl, turn it out onto your table and uh, work this around until you got, until it forms a nice consistent ball. And once it forms into a nice ball like this, wrap it in plastic. Stick it in the fridge for a couple hours. And while the dough does its thing in the fridge, let's get to work on the filling. In a large mixing bowl, add about a pound and a half of diced skirt steak. Then add one cup of diced carrots and half an onion chopped. And two medium to small potatoes peeled then diced. Now let's season with two and a half teaspoons of salt one teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper, and a teaspoon and a half of smoked paprika. Give everything a nice mix. Oh, and uh, good luck if you can try to keep your ingredients in the bowl. Now, now, all, as you can see, all of our flour has absorbed the moisture and it's ready to be rolled out. So let's cut this into quarters. And uh, flatten out with your hands first. Now using a rolling pin, roll it out to about a quarter of an inch. Now let's take our filling and Add it off center because remember we're going to fold over and just fold over like this. Now grab a pizza cutter and just trim off the excess dough. Now it's time to grab a fork and crimp this. So just take the fork, push it down and slide it away. Go with the pizza cutter one last time. And finally, poke some holes in the top. After all, you don't want this to be happening while it's cooking. Then transfer it onto a parchment lined baking sheet. Rinse and repeat. Oh, and if you end up with excess pie filling, just store it in a Ziploc bag and freeze it. Now, before we put them in the oven, let's give them a nice covering in egg wash. Just beat an egg with a teaspoon of water and boom, egg wash. Now, let's preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Are you reading down the comments section complaining about how the opening skit was unfair and that England has way much more delicious food than you think? Well, the number you're looking for is 175 degrees Celsius. Stick our pasties into our 350 degree oven and let them cook for one hour.
Now that our Cornish pasties are done, let's dig in and ah! Son of a bitch! Please wait for your pasty to cool down. This has been Jade's Cut and Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time.